This is a guide on reinstalling the LCD panel on Lenovo IdeaPad U410. To begin, disconnect the AC power. The battery is not easily removable on this laptop. Make sure not to power on the computer during disassembly. Start separating the bezel from the left side by gently prying it off from the inner edge. Be patient and make sure to apply the force outwards as to not snap the plastic tabs underneath. Continue around the perimeter from the top and to the right. In order to fully separate the bottom edge, the hinge cover has to be unsnapped on the bottom. Use a case opening tool or your technician nails. Flip the computer back over, open it up and firmly pull the bezel away from the LCD. The LCD is mounted with two Phillips screws on the top and four more screws on the bottom. Once the screws are removed, put the LCD down onto the keyboard. It may be a good idea to line the keyboard with a cloth or a paper towel to prevent scratching the LCD. Lift the LCD cable tape and disconnect the video connector. Make sure to not slant the connector since the battery is still attached. You have to slide the connector out dead straight. Set the old LCD aside. At this point, the new display can be installed. Set the LCD down on the keyboard and align with the video connector. Slowly reconnect the video connector, making sure it's not slanted or twisted. Connectors are extremely fragile. Please be extra cautious. Secure the connector tape. Lift the LCD up. Bend out the protective film tabs. Set the LCD in place and remove the protective film. Ensure that the video cable is properly set in its channel. Place the four bottom Phillips screws, two in each corner, and two more screws at the top edge. You can now test the LCD on this step. Press the power button and if the startup graphics appear, the screen is working properly. Hold the power button to cancel the boot up. Replace the bezel by lining it up at the bottom edge and snapping the tabs all around the perimeter. Snap in the hinge cover edge at the flip side of the computer. Give the LCD and the bezel a quick wipe, press the power button and you're done.